so i just got done making our christmas lunch as you guys saw in the previous clips and now i have all the lovely ingredients laid out here because i am getting ready to make a lovely pineapple chow I went ahead and cut my pineapple just to make sure that it was ripe enough to make this chow because obviously the main ingredient in our pineapple chow is pineapple and we wasn't about to lay out everything get everything all prepped and then cut our pineapple and realize that it wasn't ripe enough to make this chow so I went ahead and cut this I have my salt my sugar and a couple uh, fresh seasoning ingredients here that I am going to list now pineapple chow is really about seasoning your pineapple with the right stuff to bring the flavor and enhance the flavor um, in your pineapple. So I have some shadow benny. I recommend you get a uh, really, really fresh shadow benny. All right, mine isn't super, super fresh. It has been sitting sitting in my refrigerator for quite some time. Um, so it isn't really looking too, too happy, but it's all I have. So this is what I'm gonna be using. I have a couple of cloves of garlic. I have a piece of ginger root and I have some white pepper. Now you guys could use black pepper. I actually do recommend using black pepper. However, I don't have any black pepper on hand. So I'm just gonna use what I have. I'm gonna grab a bowl, cut my pineapple up, get all the pieces um ready to add all of my lovely ingredients but let's just take it one step at a time go ahead and gather your ingredients and let's begin up close of how just how lovely this pineapple is like i don't know about you guys but i love up close shots where i could really see the detail of stuff like it makes me so 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 happy Right. So this is the pineapple that we're working with. I'm just gonna give this a nice peel. Here's an up close of this, this side. And like I mentioned, this pineapple is really ripe. So there are actually a couple soft spots. So <laughs> if I didn't film this video today, baby, this pineapple was gonna go to waste. Or I may just have to have um, made like a juice or something with it. But it's now or never. So yeah gonna get this peeled get all of our pieces into our bowl and then start tossing let me get this to focus <clears throat> so we're gonna get these pineapple um, pieces peeled get it chopped up into nice bite-sized pieces get it into our bowl and then start uh, putting our ingredients in all right so let's go ahead and begin all right so first things first guys you want to make sure that you have a nice clean surface to work with um <laughs> when i decided to start filming uh these cooking videos and food related videos for you guys i did realize that i would have to invest in a couple um you know cooking utensils that i currently don't have so like a chopping board if you have a chopping board go ahead and take out your chopping board now because that's what you're going to be peeling and chopping up your pineapple on however i do not i actually do not have a decent chopping board to like place in front of you guys so i'm just going to be using my countertop i went ahead and wiped down my counter just to make sure that it was clean and sanitized um so i'm just gonna grab a knife <clears throat> I'm praying that my knife is sharp enough and it doesn't disappoint me. So, fingers crossed, guys. You guys could tell how ripe this pineapple is, right? Like all the juices are literally running down my hands. It's a good look. I love that. I wanted to give you guys an up close of how I am taking the eyes out. very Caribbean method of de-eyeing your pineapple so if you have another method guys don't judge me this is just how we do it Alright, 
So, just to decide how we're gonna cut these up, if we're gonna slice them up like this, if we're gonna cut them into triangles. I think I'm more than likely going to cut them into triangles. Right. So you want the pieces to be bite-sized. You want the pieces to be nice and bite-sized like this. Just pop them into a bowl. Let me get this to focus. Lovely. <clears throat> and we're just going to keep doing that until all of our pieces are perfectly chopped. So we have our pieces completely chopped up. I am just going to wipe my counter down once more and begin chopping up my shadow benny as well as my garlic and I'll be grating my ginger. <coughs> Now that we have our shadow benny and garlic grated, not grated, sorry, roughly chopped or finely chopped, it, it depends on your preference. We have it chopped and placed into our bowl with our pineapple. I'm just going to grab my ginger root and I'm just gonna grate a little bit of that into our bowl. I'm really gonna try not to get these really big pieces of ginger skin in there. We really want just the inner part so i guess to avoid that you might want to peel your ginger first but i'm just going directly into it all right and what a ginger does personally what the ginger does for me is pineapple and ginger tend to pair really really well together so by putting the ginger um into this it really complements the taste of the pineapple all right the same thing with lentil peas if you're making lentil peas ginger is a great spice to put into your lentil because it really just complements the lentils and pulls the flavor out of the lentil peas all right so just a little bit of ginger now i'm gonna go in with my dry uh, ingredients so salt and there's no method to this madness no precise measurements I'm just kind of eyeballing this. All right, salt, sugar. I'm gonna use some of that white pepper. For the new year, I really intend to get my kitchen sorted out, just in terms of like having the right utensils and the right pots and pans and the right uh, seasoning containers and stuff like that. Oh, wow, that's so good. So bear with me for now. And the background noises is actually <laughs> it's actually my son playing with one of his toys so guys bear with me once again right. now you could use just about anything to mix uh your pineapple char you can use your hands but just 
for the sake of not wanting to get my hands super super sticky and in there i'm using these metal thongs all right i'm just mixing it all in um at this point you could add some like paprika or cayenne pepper or whatever just to give it that color um in my opinion things and food look more appealing to the eyes when the color is balanced and it looks well seasoned so by having yellow greens reds all put together it really just does something to your brain and it kind of tells you that okay yeah that dish is really really well seasoned and, and that's what you want so unfortunately i do not have any cayenne pepper at the moment um so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use some of this mabel's hot pepper sauce this is currently my boyfriend's favorite so we're not about to argue because it really is good oh sorry <laughs> and i actually ever since having my son i have not been doing well with um with pepper sauce but this really isn't hot it's just very very tasty so this is going to give us the added color that we need um but i'm actually tempted to put an apple in there just for the extra red that i was talking about because i mean it's pineapple sure right we could add a little apple just for... actually no let's not get excited i'm not about to add any extra fruits it's pineapple chow let me not overcomplicate it all right so that is more or less it guys nothing nothing fancy let me just do a quick behind the scenes taste test oh mm -hmm. oh yeah I can actually put a little bit more salt in that. So I'm gonna put a little bit more salt. <clears throat> All right, just a little bit more salt. That white pepper is making me feel to sneeze. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> and that is pretty much, that is pretty much it, guys. <clears throat> right? nothing super super fancy let me just get all these additional ingredients out of the way <coughs> so that we can really get a nice visual of that <coughs> what most caribbean people do is we are really really big on seasoning everything as you guys know um but we are bigger on leaving things to really really soak in the seasoning um so you can actually cover this with some plastic wrap, pop it into your refrigerator, leave it to soak overnight, and then you can have it. Like, it tastes good now, but it's going to taste even better after you've left the pineapple to really, really marinate in all of the seasoning. All right. I am not going to wait, however. Um, you guys are free to do that. I am going to jump right into this because... Whew, I'm gonna jump right into this. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. This is just my version of pineapple chow. I would love to know all the amazing ingredients that you guys pop into your pineapple chow. Leave them down in the comment section down below. And of course, if you guys want to see more videos like these, definitely uh, leave me a like, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And make sure to subscribe. Alright guys, that's it actually guys i'm just gonna pop this <laughs> i'm just gonna put this into a more manageable bowl because it's not a good look it's not a good look okay you're wrong with this extremely huge metal dish so <clears throat> just for the sake of civilization i'm just gonna pour this into this bowl and what you can do when you are transferring your chow obviously from your mixing bowl into like your serving dish um when you're left with all of this residue baby do not throw this away this seasoning is gold so go ahead and just throw some water in there not much but enough to kind of just get everything out and that'll make for a really really nice sauce so i'm gonna do that really quickly literally that amount of water all right and we just going to use 
using water to get as much of that seasoning out as possible. Alright guys, so there you have it. Our lovely, lovely, lovely pineapple chow. <coughs> I'm just gonna grate a little bit more ginger over that because it really could use a little more of that ginger flavor. Another substitute that I forgot to mention. If you guys do not have fresh garlic, obviously fresh garlic is the better option. But if you don't have fresh garlic on hand, definitely go ahead and use garlic powder if you have that instead and it'll work just fine. Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one.